Lindsay here at Green Bay Botanical Garden in the Cottage Garden today. We're going to be seeding some stuff in the ground, although it's still a little bit cool. It is starting to warm up a little bit, so it's a perfect time to plant some of the cold hardy um, vegetable crops that you can start in your own garden. So today you can see some of the things I'm going to be planting in the cottage. I've got some peas, some different lettuces, and some Johnny Jump Ups, and then some carrots and some rutabagas. So the stuff that you want to be planting in the ground right now are things that are called cold season vegetables. Basically they can handle the cooler temps and a light frost if needed. You want to wait until um, after danger of frost to pass for anything like your beans, cucumbers, tomatoes and peppers and all that to get in the ground because they cannot handle a frost. They're called the warm season crops. So basically it's pretty easy. You just have to have um, an open space and some garden soil. If you don't have a garden in the, you know, at your home, you can plant stuff in containers as well and put them on your patio. And just so you can kind of see, these are some lettuces that receded themselves from some lettuce plants last year that I let go to seed. You can see it's, you know, time for these guys to start growing because they are growing on their own. So, um, some people like to plant their vegetables in rows. Some people like to scatter them. Um, I'm typically one of the latter because in the cottage garden I don't like things to be very formal. So basically you just kind of like work up the soil so it's nice and loose on top. If you have any big chunks of like debris you want to kind of get those out of the area you'll be planting in. And then um, you just kind of sprinkle your seeds on the surface of the soil. Um, it's pretty, pretty easy. And you can always thin your seedlings out once they start growing, so don't feel like you have to measure all your seeds out um, individually. Once they start coming up, you can see where your plants are and you can thin them at that time. So you wanna give them a little room to grow um, just so they can get nice and big, especially these rutabagas. If you have a little space between, you'll be able to get uh, bigger fruit off of that. So after you sprinkle your seeds, you just kind of uh, pat them into the soil so they have contact with the soil so when they start growing, they can grow nice and healthy and then take the watering can and you want to lightly water them in. If you use a big heavy hose, you might uh, spray a lot of your seeds out of the soil, which is not good. So use a nice gentle water. I like these little watering cans. They do a really good job. And especially if you are planting among other plants that are already in the ground or if you're more of the scatter method or if you're like me and you don't remember what you planted and where, Make sure you stick some sort of label in the ground because that way when it's coming up, you remember what you should be looking for. A rutabaga seedling is gonna look a little bit different than a carrot or a different sort of kale or a lettuce that's coming up. So make sure you stick a label just so you know it's coming up. And you can see last week, we already planted some stuff in the ground that we had started earlier from seed back in our greenhouses. We have some kale coming up, some snapdragons, some pansies and like I said we already have some lettuce coming up so those are all things that can handle the cool temperatures so um, that's a little bit of the fun we have going on today so now's a good time to start uh, planting this cool season stuff in your own gardens at home so make sure to stay tuned at our website gbbg.org for more behind the scenes updates